Hi, it's Owen from Animal Audio here, and I'm going to talk about the Focal Clear MG Professional headphones that have just come out. They're a pair of open backed over ear headphones that are retail for about $2,000 and an update to the 2017 Focal Clear headphones. The difference is these have a pure magnesium cone, whereas the previous ones had an aluminium magnesium cone. Packaging of these things is absolutely luxurious. It's a beautiful set of headphones for this price range. I guess that's what you should expect. They come in a uh, clamshell case and you'd have a hard time breaking the headphones to be stuffed in a bag, I'd say. The headphones come with fancy oxygen-free copper cables and there's two. There's one 1.2 meter, 6.35 millimeter or 1.8 inch jack and one with a 5 meter coiled 3.5 millimeter or 1 quarter inch jack and a replacement set of ear cups. These headphones have a massive frequency range. They go from 5 hertz to 23 kilohertz, which is lower than my focal monitors that I use at my studio, which only go down to 40 hertz. So it's very interesting to see how these compare. And these are the professional series. They are supposed to be far more accurate. Well, it's far more accurate than any other headphones you probably own. All right, let's look at build comfort and quality. They're a snug pair of headphones, but they fit very nicely. I could wear these for hours. I sat maybe five, six hours mixing over the last week, a day, wearing them just to get a feel for them. They feel great. I didn't get sweaty, my head didn't hurt. I mean, if they weren't open back headphones, I'd wear them on a plane and go to sleep, and I reckon I'd probably feel all right. The cups are memory foam, so they sit lovely in microfiber too, so there's no sweat. And the band of these headphones is leather, so you're not gonna have any problems with flaky vinyl coming off onto your head after they start to age a little. Now, let's talk about if they're gonna replace monitors. Personally, don't think I can bring myself to do that. I know a lot of people have moved towards headphones in recent years. There's been a small trend amongst some audio engineers to do that, but I feel, personally, I couldn't replace my monitors just yet. We'll see. Well, we should talk about translation too. The stereo imaging of these headphones is great. I was listening on these and noticing things in mixes that I'd never heard before on a track like The Pretty Things, She Says Good Morning, a lot of overdubs and extra instruments that I never heard their entry into the track, but a small bursts of noise, reverb tales that I'd never heard before. It's fantastic. And there's, there's not really any overhyped sense of spatiality around these. Now the only issues that I noticed translating between these headphones and monitors, there was two, there's one in the 100 hertz to 200 hertz region. I'd mix on these headphones all day, come back to monitors, and I found that my mixes were a little weak in that area when I came back. So I feel that perhaps these headphones have a little hype or a little forward push around that region, which does make for a fantastic listening experience, but does make me a little uncomfortable knowing that they're not completely flat in that area. I could be wrong, but I feel that there are some issues there. The other thing I noticed was the top end. It's very silky and very smooth. Pleasure to listen to and I think it helps that the top end is so silky that you can listen all day without a fatigue on your ears. However, listening back on monitors, I noticed that trying to get a crispness to a high end in a mix, I was pushing them a little too far and I was getting quite a lot of sibilance, maybe around the 4K, 6K region. I'm not sure if this is a matter of getting used to these headphones, but it did make me a little uncomfortable knowing that I could send out overly sibilant mixes to people if I only relied on these. Uh, one other thing I noticed is the subs on these are very accurate. So while the top end of the bass may have had issues for me, the low end was great. No problems whatsoever. And it may be that I'm more used to the Sennheisers, but I feel like they are a little more transparent, maybe a little less hyped in those areas, but the Focals were more enjoyable to work with. So take from that what you will. All right, today I've asked Emily to come in and listen to all three pairs of the headphones. She hasn't heard any of them before and she's not gonna know which ones she's actually listening to. So we're gonna try the Focals, we're gonna try the Sennheiser HD 650s, and we're gonna try a pair of Audio-Technica ATH R70Xs, and we'll see what she has to say. The bass really comes through, actually. Yeah, a little bit muted, but everything's pretty clear. So the song's just finished. Yeah, it was really good, really clear. 
do feel like it was a little bit muted in some places, but you could hear the stereo really well, very clean. Yeah, on the head, they do feel very comfy. A little bit weighty, but pretty good. Oh, this is so much clearer. Yeah, that's crazy how like, how much cleaner and powerful that is. All right, song's just finished, but that was, yeah. So clear, insane. It was like you're in the studio with them. You could hear everything, like the bass, the drums. Yeah, that was crazy. And these are really comfy too. Like they don't even feel like they're weighing on your head at all. You can barely, the other one did feel like it was pressing on my head a little bit, but this is really, really nice and super clean. Really good sound, yeah. Okay, lucky last. Yeah, this is reminding me a bit more of the first one. Oh, the bass is coming through really well, actually. Yeah, I'd say in terms of sound quality, the second one was definitely the far superior one out of all three. But this is definitely the comfiest, I'd say. Super light, sits really well on the head. Um, the stereo sounded really good in this, but then again, it was yeah a little bit more quieter, wasn't as punchy as the second one. I would definitely pick the second one out of all three. Dynamics were amazing. So good. Was that the wrong answer? No, no. I wasn't sure she was going to pick the Focals, but that was fantastic. I guess there is something in these $2,000 pair of headphones. I agree, these headphones sound great and there's a lot of detail which you don't get in cheaper headphones. Well, I'm reluctant to say I would mix on these headphones, I think it's something you could work with. They are great for listening to over long periods, they're very detailed, and they sound fantastic. They're very enjoyable to listen to music on. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next time.